guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about how i take notes in nursing school there's different ways that i do this depending on the class so let's just jump right into it first off i want to emphasize the importance of getting a planner this is the way that i like to start every semester in the very beginning i purchased this planner from blue sky you guys probably remember me talking about this in my previous videos no i am not sponsored i just seriously love this planner so very much i've been using it since i was taking my prerequisite classes for nursing school so this is definitely my go-to i always get it from um, target i think you can also find it on amazon but i just like that it shows you the monthly and weekly views so i can plan out everything on a weekly basis and i can also see everything on a you know on a bigger scale on the monthly view so definitely my go-to and i highly recommend it what I like to do is that I like to color coordinate everything in my planner. So blue is usually like any assignments that are due. Um, red and yellow is always any big exams or big assignments coming up. And black is just things that to keep in mind for me to do, such as readings or just general things. I also like to write down all of the major, major assignments for, uh, that are due throughout the semester. So I print that out. There's a pocket in the planner where I like to pop those in. And then I start every semester by writing down all of the deadlines, all of the assignments, and all of the exams that I have throughout the semester. That way I don't miss anything. All right, my very first way that I take notes that I absolutely love is using Notability. I am not sponsored. I have mentioned Notability so many times in my, all of my previous videos, but this time I'm actually gonna go more in depth and talk about exactly how I take notes. So first, I'm gonna guide you guys on PowerPoint, how I use this. So you're gonna open up your slides, you're gonna go to print, and then you're gonna change slides per page. So I usually go for six or four, depending on the course. And then you're gonna change it to Microsoft Print to PDF, okay? That's what's gonna help you save it as a PDF document on your desktop or wherever you wanna save it. Um, I usually do six slides per page if it's like a class where the you know i don't really take a lot of notes in but if i need more space then i usually just do four slides per page so this is just like an example of what the slides would look like i usually email it to myself and then i open it on my ipad transfer it into notability and then start taking notes as you can see here um i am actually recording the audio while i'm taking these notes and I purposely did this for this video just so that you guys can see how the audio and text works. So basically, when you're audio recording and simultaneously taking notes, the text actually links with the audio. So for example, if you're in a lecture and you're taking notes during lecture, wherever you took notes, that text is going to be linked to the audio of that lecture. So... Here you can see I take notes underneath the slides, I can highlight, I can circle things. And then here I stopped the recording. And then as you can see, when I change it to like the hand icon, I can literally choose where to go within the text. So watch the bar where the audio is. So as you can see here, you can see like where I was, the live version of where I was writing my notes is linked to the audio. So you can see what's happening real time. Like this is the part where I was writing in real time and it's linked to the audio. So you can also just press a part, like you can tap a part where you circled or wrote a note and it'll automatically link to the audio. So as you can see, I'm clicking here back and forth and you can see that the audio bar is going to that point where I wrote that note. So sometimes let's say if I'm taking notes and I forget or I didn't catch what my professor said, I'll put like a little symbol or like a little question mark so I know later to tap on that question mark and it'll send me to that part of the audio and then I can just re-listen to whatever I missed. So I really love that about Notability. I use this for my patho class, definitely use it for adult health one and two. I also used it for psych. Okay, the second way that I like to take notes is through charts. And this is definitely something that I used with my farm class. Um, as you can see here, I have this little chart that I created for asthma. This was like the respiratory section. And here, as you can see, I put the um, condition at the very top. So asthma goes on the top. Then I write 
the signs and symptoms, the major drug groups, and then I actually write the groups underneath. And I, I am very specific with what, with what my professor was looking for. So for example, he was very big on the mechanism of action, any random facts about the specific drugs, and any contraindications. I also liked to um, color coordinate things. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm a big lover of color coordinating everything. <laughs> so I'll explain that a little bit in more detail later. But as you can see here, for certain drugs, I actually had to create columns. So for in this case, for example, I had to create two columns, one for short acting and one for long acting. And yeah, this is actually the template that I used. Um, it's all blank and I would just, depending on the chapter or what we were learning, I would slowly fill this out. I actually edited this template so that you guys can use it and you can find it on my website. So the link will be in the description box below and it will be completely free for you to download and use. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. And as you can see here, I use this for so many of the drug groups <laughs> during farm. I use it for asthma, CNS, diabetes etc etc all right the third way that i took notes was by typing it and this i typically did with classes that had a lot of information so mostly peds definitely for patho a few times patho i switched back and forth between notability and typing it but what i like to do was as you guys just saw i would go on um, powerpoint i would change the view so i can get the outlined view and then i would copy and paste it into a word document and then from here, I would kind of just, you know, rearrange the titles and the bullet points and stuff. And you can, you know, edit that to however you prefer. But um, in the end, it kind of looked a little bit like this, as you will see in like two seconds right here. So as you can see here, this is how I liked to type out all my notes after I fixed all of the, the headings and the bullet points. And the way I did it was that everything in black were things straight from the PowerPoint slides and anything in red was anything that my professor said in class. And anything highlighted in yellow was anything that she emphasized that would be on the exam. I would also add in some YouTube videos that I thought was helpful and any pictures or diagrams that helped solidify the concepts for me. And I also wanted to show you guys this little <laughs> diagram here. So I liked putting symbols into my notes. So the star was anything important. The three dots stands for therefore. Down arrow means decreasing. Up arrow means increasing. The glasses basically means like things to look out for. The X with the circle basically means no or like do not or like contraindicated. The pen stood for uh, patient education. The I stood for things to look out for. The check marks were things that we can do. The X were things that we should not do or contraindications. The triangle stands for change. Then, then there's the sex symbols for female and males. And then the heart symbol for, I use that mostly for the cardiac system. So yeah, that was it. I hope you guys find this very helpful. Definitely write in the comment section down below if you have any questions and I will be more than happy to answer them. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.